Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Cause We Love to Scrap and today I am working with the team over at Tracy Reed Designs for the new A Flutter Design Kit that she has just created. I am also doing a sketch for Sketch Sunday today. I'm just gonna combine the two. Um, and this is a sketch by Lydell Quinn and there is my take on the sketch and for the team's the Tracy Reed design teams of Flutter page. I um, started with my photo, which is a picture of two kissing birds. And then I went in to the papers and journal card patterned cards from the a Flutter kit and the stickers. And then I um, printed out pretty much all of the coral and green ones that I found that would work on this. Um, I used some florals and um, some other images as well. And anyway, I'm going too fast for my talking, I guess. Um, I went ahead and cut out, die cut the picture, and then I'm going to die cut, cut the journal card that I printed. It is um, like a coral with florals on it. And then I'm going to distress both of them and mat it. And I did fussy cut everything. I did not use um, a die cutting machine for that, um, for the stickers and such from the kit. Um, also, I wanted to mention that everyone is playing along with the team for Tracy Reed Designs team. Uh, you can find everyone's link below so that you can follow along with what's happening um, on this hop. <laughs> so um, now I'm using one of the patterned, oh, well, it wasn't a patterned paper, it was a solid paper and it was green. And I just printed off a little piece of it. Um, I cropped it down on my sheet and then I cut it out. And now I'm die cutting um, Kissing Bird. I meant to die cut Kissing Birds, but I didn't anyway. Um, so I'm using a die cut to, uh, an alpha die cut to go ahead and die cut all of those letters. And the first KIS got messed up, so I had to do it again. And then of course I have to do some other, I think an I again, or an S or an N, something. Both maybe, I don't know. I had to do a couple of times through here. And, um, I think I'm done now. Um, when I go ahead and put it on my layout, I decide that it's, I didn't want to use all of these green letters anyways, and I bring in a green alpha from Pink Fresh, I believe. I believe it's Pink Fresh. And, oh, when I was messing around with my paper, I did some smudges from the paint down here in the lower part of it. And um, so now I have to go through and I have to cover them up with some of my, I thought about using these red letters, but the red was too bright for the corals and the reds that were in the kit. So I decided not to use that. Here's where I decided I'm not going to use kissing birds. I'm going to use um, just the birds part of these letters. And then here's, oh, yep, pink fresh alphas that I bring in um, and I'm going to use those to say kissing and okay just let me talk about these kissing birds for a second um, they are found in the wild in Scottsdale now they are actually an invasive species um, at one point it's and it's not just Scottsdale it's like the whole Phoenix area um, at one point they either escaped their owner their birdcage or their owner let them free and um, they've been breeding ever since the 1980s and now they're just a wild bird in Scottsdale that you can find um, I love to see them they're just they're actually from Africa and they're a parrot um, but they like the desert environment and they thrive and so yeah, they, um, I love, love to see them when I'm out on my walk or if I'm in my backyard. 
here's the sketch again just to catch you up um, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use these little foam dots to put my birds part up on some foam to give them some dimension and then I'm going to start my embellishing and as you as you see I'm going to use a bunch of florals and such from the kit um, some buttons a butterfly um, like a journal piece and um, after I set them all out where I think that they all are going to go I'm going to put them down off screen so you won't see me gluing everything down you'll just see that I put everything where it belongs and then I um, cut to where it's already glued down but in the meantime I do rough up the edges of everything with my fingernail to give everything dimension and then with the florals I'm going to um, curve the petals and such so that it has even more dimension so um, as you can see here I'm just going to go ahead and start placing stuff around where I want it to go and then once I'm done with that, through the magic of movie making, it will all be in place. But I'm still, at, oh, I, I lost buttons. I don't know where they went. I, I printed three of every color of button and I could only find two of every color of button. So I have no idea. I think I did find one of the buttons somewhere um, since that time, but two of the buttons I still haven't found. So I don't know. I don't know where they are. Okay, there we go. So now everything is down in place. You can see all of the flowers have some um, curled edges and everything's a little distressed. I don't know if you can tell from the video itself, um, but yeah, it is a little bit distressed. Oh, I'm talking on my phone and I forgot to edit that out, but um, don't look. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, this is where I was researching the birds because I knew that they were here and I knew that they were an invasive species, but I didn't know exactly the details of it. So I went on um, a little research trip. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna researching it and um, figuring out what's up with these birds. And that's kind of a boring part of my video, me doing some research. Um, and this is even sped up twice, so you can see I did a lot of reading very slowly. So there we go, I'm done <laughs> with my research. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my journaling. And in the sketch, they have a lot of journaling and it's like very skinny and long. And that's how I wanted it um, in this page. And I really like that look. It looks um, really cool, I think. And then after my journaling, I am also going to add some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And then, um, then it's going to be done. So don't forget to check out everybody who's playing along down below in the description. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for watching until next time